Well, hello there. Welcome to the swamp. With old Yoda here. I've got Ted Ford in the background, man of the camera. We're going to talk about this somewhat uh, complicated subject called the golf swing. Not all about it, just about one particular element of it. Uh, actually, two particular elements of it. One being the hinge action motion that the golf club makes through impact, and then the swivel action motion that the golf club makes uh, after the end of the follow through, which of course is the both arms straight position. Let's back it off a little bit first and talk about what is the golf stroke. It is the hinge action of an angular motion operating on an inclined plane. Well, that sounds like a lot, but really it's pretty simple. Look at it this way. If I have this hinge arrangement, well, that pretty well gives me a hinge action right off the bat. And if I just let the hinge does do what a hinge does, it's not easy to say, do what a hinge does, and that simply goes around at right angles to the pin and it moves in a circle. That's what a hinge does all day long. No matter how it's mounted, it's going to move around the hinge pin at right angles and it's going to move in a circle. Uh, I have this hinge arrangement here. It's a dual hinge that allows me to sit it down on an inclined plane. See, there's one hinge here that closes the club face. It opens the face in relation to the line and it closes the club face in relationship to a line if I mount it perpendicular to a horizontal plane, just like a door. Look familiar? You've, you've done a door, you've seen doors every day since you've been born, and that's the way it works. This is not complicated. But I don't have to mount that pin perpendicular to a horizontal plane. I could mount it perpendicular to a vertical plane, or I could mount it perpendicular to an inclined plane. It's not going to change the action of the hinge, the hinge action, one bit. It's still, it's a dull thing if you're a hinge. You start, every day you wake up and you know what you're going to do. You're going to go around the pin in a circle at right angles all day long. What, comes, what makes it different is how do you mount that pin. If I mount that pin perpendicular to a horizontal plane like I've done here, you can see the pin is mounted perpendicular to a horizontal plane, then the blade, which is the left arm of the club and the golf switch stroke, works around that. If I have a second hinge, I lower the shaft onto the inclined plane. So I have two hinges here, a primary hinge that controls the club face and a secondary hinge that controls the club shaft and they both work in concert. It's a dual hinge arrangement. Remember, I want a circular motion operating on an inclined plane, a hinge action creating a circular motion on an inclined plane. Fellas, that's it. That's all there is to it, a hinge action of a circular motion on an inclined plane. Now, how I mount that pin is very important. If I mount it perpendicular to the floor, to a horizontal plane, I get a club face that looks like this through impact. The club face closes only. What does the door do every day? Take, once again, doors have a dull life. If your pen is mounted perpendicular to the floor, you got one job all day. You close. And that's all this does. On the other hand, if I mount the pen perpendicular to a wall, perpendicular to a wall, we talk about a floor, we also have a wall, a vertical plane, then watch what that club face does. It lays back only. It doesn't close at all. It only lays back. Remember, the hinge action itself isn't changing. It's just going around the pen in a circle. But the blade that's attached to the hinge moves according to the way the pin has been mounted. And if the pin is mounted perpendicular to a vertical plane, it lays back on it. If the pin is mounted perpendicular to a horizontal plane, it closes on it. If I mount the pin perpendicular to an angle plane, like the angle plane of the stroke, then guess what we get? A little bit of closing and a little bit of laying back. It is a cl closing and laying back action. Because this pin is perpendicular to the angle plane, we call that angle hinge action. This first one, the closing only, because it's perpendicular to the horizontal plane, we call that horizontal hinge action. And because we mount the pin vertical to a vertical plane, or perpendicular to a vertical plane, we have layback and we have vertical hinging. So horizontal hinging, angled hinging, vertical hinging, the action of the hinge doesn't change, but the mounting does. And, and accordingly, the club face takes on a different motion, a closing only motion, a laying back only motion, or a simultaneous close and layback.